Good afternoon, and welcome to the inauguration ceremony of Madisonville Community College's fourth president, Dr. Cynthia S. Kelly. My name is Jay Parent, Vice President of Quality Assurance and Administration, and I will be serving as the Master of Ceremonies today. I respectfully ask that you silence or mute your phones to respect the formality of one of our most important ceremonies. And now we will begin the academic procession. Please stand.
singers. Director of the Emergency Department. 
He has served in leadership roles with the medical staff there at Baptist and also with the Kentucky Medical Association. Dr. Thorner is also an assistant clinical professor of emergency medicine at both the University of Louisville and the University of Kentucky. Please welcome Dr. Thorner. On behalf of my fellow board members, I would like to welcome the faculty, the staff, the students, distinguished guests, and institutional delegates to the official inauguration of our president, Dr. Cindy Kelly. Today's, today marks the symbolic passage of our leadership as we continue to serve as committed champions of student success. Over our college's nearly 50 year history, we have awarded thousands of credentials to students that have prepared them for a better for a better life. We have, planned, we have played an important role in creating financially strong families. We have provided the place where anyone can pursue long-held dreams. And we have helped countless students build a strong foundation for future study as they transfer to senior institutions. Since Dr. Kelly's arrival last year, she has demonstrated her love for this community and her love for the college. She has demonstrated the will and commitment to continue to build on our reputation of excellence, innovation, and as the college of choice in our region. I have been impressed with Dr. Kelly's drive and tenacity in meeting the needs of our employers as we strive to raise the educational attainment level in our area. Dr. Kelly, on behalf of the board, I look forward to working with you and commit our full support um, as you continue to push NCC forward in all our endeavors. Congratulations and my best to you. Thank you, Dr. Forner. Our next speaker this afternoon is Mr. Steve Cox. Mr. Cox is President and Chief, o Chief Operations Officer at Hancock Bank and Trust Company. Mr. Cox serves as the chair of the Madisonville College Foundation. During his outstanding tenure of leadership, the foundation has provided uh, leadership to our college capital campaigns that have raised well over $22 million. Please join me in welcoming Mr. Steve Cox. is, is, is 
wonderful in that the, the things that they do with workforce development and healthcare, uh, cultivating growth in our community is, is irreplaceable in, in the things that they do. And Dr. Kelly has had everything to do with that, and today it's, it's my honor to be a part of this inauguration ceremony. Uh, she's a wonderful person, a tremendous leader. Her passion and enthusiasm are infectious, and we congratulate her this afternoon and wish her all the best as she continues to move both Madisonville Community College and our community forward. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor Jackson. Representative Melinda Gibbons Prenti represents the 15th House District, serving Muhlenberg and Southeast Hopkins County. She's Vice Chair of the Health and Family Services Committee and serves as a member of the Education, IT and Small Business, Medicaid Advisory, and Oversight Committees, as well as the Budget Review Subcommittee on Education. In addition, she serves on the House Adoption and Foster Care Work Group. Before retiring in June of 2016, she served as the Director of the Office for Youth Ministry in the Diocese of Owensboro for nearly 20 years. Prior to that, Representative Gibbons Prince worked as a physical therapist for multiple health care facilities. She resides in Greenville with her husband of 38 years, Dr. Marshall Eddie Prenti. Please welcome Representative Melinda Gibbons Prenti. Thank you, Dr. Parent, for your kind introduction. I bring greetings to you uh, from the Cotton Capitals Commonwealth as well as from the 15th District. I'm humbled to be a part of this wonderful celebration. Dr. I honor Dr. Kelly upon her inauguration as the fourth president of Madisonville Community College. I'm proud to say that she replaces the native Muhlenberg County and Dr. Judith Rhodes, who worked hard to begin many of the initiatives that I believe Dr. Kelly has picked up the torch and is running with. To continue the work of economic development, work-ready skills, and work-ready initiatives, alongside all other academic advancements. I've met with her on several occasions, both here in the district and in Frankfurt, with Secretary Heiner and several of his staff. It is a pleasure to work alongside both Dr. Kelly, Economic Development Directors and Boards in the District to get our people the education and skills they need to succeed in our 21st century economy. In a very short time, she has proven her willingness to reach out to surrounding counties to assist them in any way that she can, and that attitude is much appreciated. She's not a sit-behind-the-desk type of president, and in looking at her curriculum vitae, I believe she's in the right place at the right time. I commend the search committee on their work and decision to bring Dr. Kelly to Madisonville Community College. At this time, I would like to read a citation of honor from the House of Representatives. The House of Representatives of the Commonwealth of Kentucky Citation of Achievement <coughs> hereby recognizes and honors Dr. Cynthia S. Kelly upon the auspicious occasion of her installation as the fourth president of Madisonville Community and Technical College in Madisonville, Kentucky. Earning her MA from West Virginia University and her PhD at Ohio University, Dr. Kelly began her career as a public school teacher before taking on the post of an instructor of education at West Virginia University at Parkersburg in 1991, where she was instrumental in the development of the first bachelor's degree program offered at a West Virginia Community Academic <coughs> Community College and went on to serve as a full professor, faculty senate president, associate dean, dean of academic affairs, and vice president for academic affairs and student services. Named an American Council on Education Fellow in 2008, this distinguished individual visited over 25 colleges as part of her fellowship duties, including a six-month residency at Owens Community College in Toledo, Ohio, and served as the Vice President for Academic Affairs and Student Services at Kanawha Valley Community and Technical College, Vice President for Academic Affairs at Montlistead Community College in Lynchburg, Tennessee, before accepting the position at Madisonville Community and Technical College. It is much as Dr. Cynthia S. Kelly, who also currently serves on the Commission for Academic, Student, and Community Development for the American Association of Community Colleges, has been a champion throughout her career for the enhancement and success of higher education in this country, and is well prepared as she assumes the leadership responsibilities associated with this, with this, this important post. The members of this august body are deeply honored to join Representative Melinda Gibbons Brunning in offering her sincere congratulations on having earned this well-developed opportunity and in extending best wishes for her utmost success and good fortune as she assumes the help of this beloved Kentucky institution. Done in Frankfort, Kentucky this first day of November in the year 2017. So Dr. Kelly, welcome to Western Kentucky. Welcome to the 15th District. Many blessings on your tenure here and I look forward to working with you on many endeavors as we move forward. Thank you. So much, Representative Gibbons Prenti. I'm pleased.
pleased now to introduce Ms. Rebecca Rittenhouse. Ms. Rittenhouse is the Western Kentucky Field Representative for Governor Matt Bevin. She grew up in Madisonville, graduated from North Hawkins High School, and began her college career right here at NCC. She holds a bachelor's degree in business management and is a retired police officer with over 20 years of service. Please welcome Ms. Rittenhouse. completed the uh, respiratory therapy program here, and he did very well. Um, later on, when I started here, though, I learned that I had a special place in their heart. I became very ill and spent over four weeks in the hospital and several weeks at home. My professors made sure that I succeeded by visiting me every week in the hospital and making sure I got my homework done. And for that, I was always grateful. And I know that you'll continue to make sure that everybody that attends this school stays in the heart. I would like to read a letter from the governor. Dear friends, on behalf of the Commonwealth of Kentucky, I would like to welcome you to the inauguration of Dr. Cynthia S. Kelly as the fourth president of Madison Mill Community College. The Kentucky community and technical college system plays an integral role in, the, in our economy by providing outstanding education and training in Kentucky's workforce. In addition, the KCTCS system offers over 100 certificates, diplomas, and associate's degrees in manufacturing, helping the Commonwealth in our quest and become the engineering and manufacturing hub of excellence in America. To that end, MCC has been an important partner in our Health Coordinate Kentucky initiative that pairs with those interested in expanding their career opportunities with the education they need. I wholeheartedly extend my sincere congratulations to Dr. Kelly and to the Massonville Community College as you celebrate your future and embrace new opportunities through leadership to enhance their higher education in Kentucky. Sincerely, Matthew G. Bailey, Governor. Thank you. Thank you, Rebecca. Our next speaker this afternoon is Mr. Ray Hagerman, President of the Madisonville Hopkins County Economic Development Corporation. Prior to this appointment, Mr. Hagerman was the CEO of Four Corners Economic Development in New Mexico and previously Vice President of the Dayton Development Coalition in Ohio. Please welcome Ray Hagerman. Good afternoon. Uh, Dr. Cynthia Kelly and I got here in the community about the same time. And of course, the first time I met her, I made sure I addressed her as Dr. Kelly and she quickly let me know that she was just Cindy, which let me know that not only is she a high-level thinker, but she's not afraid to roll up her sleeves and get to work. I found just Cindy to have one of the most can-do attitudes of any uh, people I've ever worked with in the academic arena. She understands the symbiotic relationship that exists between economic development and higher education, and she understands that people development really is economic development. Uh, she's been a great team player. Uh, I've appreciated getting to know her, and uh, I found her to be very transparent in her communications with me. We hit it off from the very start. She'll call me sometimes and ask what I think about an idea. In fact, this summer, about 9 p.m. Uh, one night, I got this three-word uh, text that was a question. Where have you be? <laughs> well, I quickly realized it was for her husband, Mike. <laughs> But I told her the next morning, I said, I really appreciate the fact that uh, you checked up on me. It wouldn't be the first nor the last time I'd ever been checked up on, but I did appreciate the thoroughness of her management stuff. <laughs> it's been a pleasure getting to know Dr. Cynthia Kelly. Uh, we in the economic development world appreciate a person of her drive and energy and attention to detail, and we look uh, very much forward to working with her in the future. And I know that we as a community are very fortunate to have Dr. Cynthia Kelly here. Thank you. Thank you, Ray. We have an exceptional faculty and staff. They are student-centered, learning-focused, and dedicated to student success. 
It's now my pleasure to introduce Dr. Sarah Adams, Professor of Music and Chair of the MCC faculty, to provide greetings. Dr. Adams has been with the college since 2002 and teaches the Introduction to Music course, History and Sociology of Rock Music, History of Jazz, and Teaching Music for Elementary Majors. In addition to teaching, she leads the MCC Music Club, serves on the Quality Enhancement Plan, the Curriculum Review Committee, and the United Way Committees. She also performs with the MCC Singers in the Madisonville Community Chorus. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Sarah Adams. Good afternoon. On behalf of the faculty of Madisonville Community College, I welcome you and thank you for sharing this historic day with us. Installing only our fourth president in the 50-year history of MCC speaks to the dedication, excellence, and love that our leaders have had for our institution and community. In her first year as MCC president, Dr. Kelly has shared with us her vision for our future, and I have no doubt that she will face our challenges with care and integrity, greet our accomplishments with great pride, and lead us forward into another successful chapter of our history. The Roman philosopher Seneca wrote that every new beginning comes from some other beginning's end. The faculty of MCC proudly honor our 50-year history and the individuals who helped make us the extraordinary college that we are today. But we will not remember only the successes of the past. With Dr. Kelly's leadership and our faculty's commitment, we will move MCC forward. Our faculty will continue to and strive to innovate, educate, motivate, inspire, listen, and challenge. At times, we may also fail. But as Dr. Kelly has often expressed to us over the last year, we will continue to see progress if we always remember to fall forward. None of us know exactly where MCC is going, but we move forward with a thriving and extraordinary future in our sights, and I am excited to have Dr. Kelly leading us on this journey. Congratulations, Dr. Kelly, and thank you. started at MCC in 1991 as Office Support Assistant for her Upward Bound and Educational Talent Search Programs. In 1999, she transitioned to be an Administrative Assistant and Payroll Specialist. Connie then became the Human Resources Assistant in January of 2010. Connie is passionate about our students and coordinates our local Baptist campus, campus ministry program. She's a friendly and warm presence on campus to everyone and a special friend of Dr. Kelly's. Please welcome Connie Harrelson. Good afternoon, everyone. Dr. Kelly, distinguished guests, faculty, staff, and community members, I am very honored to be standing here today and to be included in this inauguration ceremony for the fourth president of Madisonville Community College. I have been a part of this community college family for over 26 years. And I have a great love and a great respect for the mission of our college and for those who work so hard to accomplish that mission. So about 18 months ago, I was very interested in the candidates for the position of president of Madisonville Community College. And during those interviews, one thing I noticed about Dr. Kelly is that she paused for a moment before answering the questions. And I appreciated the fact that she did not give us just a textbook answer, but felt it was worth a moment of thought before giving us her answer. And once we were told that our next president would be Dr. Cynthia Kelly, and that she and her husband, Mike, had bought the Knopfsinger place at Morton's Gap. I sent her an 
email just to welcome her to our college and to let her know that my husband, Joey, had taken care of that property for a long time. If they needed anything, just give us a call. Well, shortly after that, I received a phone call. Joey was at work, and it was a strange area code. I answered it anyhow. I usually don't do that. But the man on the other end asked for Joey. I gave my customary response. May I ask who's calling? Which led to various and sundry other questions and ended up with, do you know my husband? <laughs> and the man on the other end said, well, not yet. <laughs> Obviously, I wasn't giving him much of a chance. Um, but then he finally said, my wife just accepted the position of president at Madisonville Community College. And I said, oh, you're Dr. Kelly's husband. <laughs> first impression. I promised at that point not to interrogate him again when he called, and he's very forgiving. Thank you for that. Dr. Kelly and I both grew up on farms, so we have enjoyed talking about, comparing, sharing the ways we did things on the farm. And farm life, to me, is the best life education person can get. And I feel a lot of Dr. Kelly's qualities are the result of that farm education. And so I was curious when I, Jay asked me to speak uh, today, what other members of staff would, would, how they would describe Dr. Kelly. So I asked several of them, give me one word that you think would describe Dr. Kelly. Friendly, welcoming, humorous, approachable, excited, balanced, visionary, down-to-earth, funny, entertaining, a go-getter, personable, horse lover, poodle lover too, I might add. Those are all qualities of a great leader. And she has proven that she's willing to invest time and energy into our college to move us forward. And she genuinely has the best interest of everyone at heart. So congratulations, Dr. Kelly. Thank you for all that you're doing for the college and for our community. Thank you all for the attendance and support today for Dr. Kelly. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your inauguration. Ms. Jamie Slayton. Jamie is from White Plains and is pursuing the Associate in Arts degree. She plans to transfer to Murray State University to become an elementary school teacher. In addition to serving as SGA Vice President, Jamie is an active member of the MCC Lions Club, volunteers at the Community Youth Center, works in our financial aid office, and is a member of the College of Middle Appeals Board. She's quite busy. Jamie is an advocate for children and is passionate about building up young people to be smart, positive, contributing members of our society. Please welcome Jamie Slate. I heard a quote once, and it's often attributed to Sir Isaac Newton. And it says, if I have seen further, it is by standing on the shoulders of giants. And it suggests that when we draw from the wisdom, passion, and vision of others, we ourselves are able to achieve more. Astride the shoulders of a giant, we can see further than the giant. And this is not because we have become greater than the giant, but because the giant has lifted us up. It's important for me today to convey to you how much of a privilege it is for me to stand with all of these others to honor Dr. Kelly. I've told this story recently in a discussion panel here at Madisonville Community College, but the day that I walked into the admission center in the summer of 2016, my life changed in a huge way. I was seeking change. I was seeking a better life for myself and a better future, 
I was really seeking hope. Before I left, I was enrolled in five classes. And walking back to the parking lot, I remember feeling like that my life was about to change. And I was about to have the, the biggest adventure of my life. I even remember my Facebook post, hashtag new beginnings. And since that day, I have been afforded many opportunities. Opportunities which I am certain would not have come my way without my involvement here at MCC. One of those opportunities allowed me to serve here at the Glima alongside of Dr. Kelly. I had attended a Pizza with the Prez event, so I knew who she was, but at that point I didn't really know much about her. <clears throat> but the night that we served here at the Glima for the dinner theater, it really showed me what kind of a leader she is. As we began to set up to serve, she jumped right in, and I kept thinking she should be one of the patrons sitting at the tables that we're serving, yet here she is standing next to me, filling drink cups with ice and sweet tea, and that spoke volumes to me. A true leader is one who serves together with those that they would lead. They take the time to get to know those that they have influence over. They lead by example and not just at the sidelines. They communicate their vision in a way that inspires others to connect with that vision. And this is the kind of leader that Dr. Kelly is. Legendary basketball coach John Wooden said it like this, the most powerful leadership tool that you have is your own personal example. Earlier I mentioned that I was in search of change and ultimately hope for my future. I know I have received that here at Madisonville Community College. I'm currently pursuing a degree in elementary education and I'll graduate in May transferring, before transferring to Murray State University in the fall. Dr. Kelly began her career as a school teacher much like I will. She accomplished many great things before coming here to Madisonville Community College and she is still accomplishing many great things. And this gives me hope. It gives me hope that what I have seen her accomplish in her life, I too can accomplish someday. It gives me hope because I know that I'm standing on the shoulders of a giant. I'm excited to see what's around the corner for Madisonville Community College, and I look forward to working with Dr. Kelly and other members of the faculty and staff. Thank you for this opportunity, and congratulations, Dr. Kelly. always serves as an important reminder why we're here in the first place and the impact that we can have on students lives. Thank you. We are especially honored to have our next speaker with us this afternoon, Connie Dezawa, who made quite a long trip to get here today, all the way from West Virginia. She's a close and dear friend of over 20 years of Dr. Kelly's from her time at West Virginia University of Parkersburg, from which Connie retired after 32 years of service. Connie's work as a journalist and while at WVU Parkersburg, served as the public relations officer and as chief cabinet officer to the president. She attended Marshall University in Huntington and currently resides in Parkersburg. Please join me in welcoming Connie to Madisonville Community College. Cindy, it appears to me that I stand in the way of you being installed formally, but I'll, but I'll be brief. It is my great honor to be here today to celebrate Cindy's inauguration. Cindy and I met actually more than 25 years ago at WVU in Parkersburg. We started as colleagues. She was a faculty member, I was the college spokesperson and the public relations director. We became friends almost immediately. Some personal information which you may or may not know. Cindy and I share a number of interests. I noticed your college had a chili cook-off earlier this week. Well, Cindy can whip up an amazing batch of chili. Mine's pretty good, too. We are both dog lovers. Family is important to us. She and I have an appreciation for good music, although she's a bigger fan of Celtic music than I am. Cindy likes all things Mickey Mouse. 
I have a fondness for Germany cricket. <laughs> this is a lasting friendship. Over the years, I have watched in admiration as Cindy has become an outstanding educator and administrator. I would see it time and time again at campus cabinet meetings. We would be looking at the first PowerPoint slide. Cindy would already see the big picture. We would be struggling to develop solutions to a campus issue. Cindy would propose a strategic plan. You know the maxim, if you want something done right, you give it to a busy person. Cindy is that person. Her passion to raise others up via higher education sparks her determination to never settle for second best. She is comfortable in many different roles. Leader, team player, teacher, mentor, innovator. And she accomplishes all that with a lighthearted approach. Must be that Mickey Mouse influence. <laughs> WVU Parkersburg is the only community college in West Virginia that offers bachelor's degrees. As chair of the education division, Cindy took that uniqueness to heart. With her faculty, she fine-tuned innovative curricula tailored to an elementary education degree in a community college setting. These generated real classroom learning experiences for students and created valuable town gown relationships with rural schools and communities. Many of the elementary education majors at WVU Parkersburg are first generation college students. I saw firsthand that Cindy's empathy for her students was unmatched. She guided them, nurtured them, and encouraged them to exceed even their expectations. Students wanted to achieve because Cindy told them that they could. A well-known U.S. Army POW veteran earned her teaching degree at WVU Parkersburg thanks in large part to the care and support of Cindy and her faculty team. When Cindy first asked me if I would say a few words today, she did mention she was a little worried about what stories it might tell. I will tell one short story. Cindy, Dean, and I were working on a grant proposal a number of years ago. We decided to go away for the weekend to a state park ski resort, rent a cabin, be inspired by our surroundings, and complete the proposal. The grant was designed to encourage young girls in Appalachia to pursue careers in technology and science. We finished the proposal rather quickly. Snow began falling. Our Dean was becoming nervous about getting off of the ridge. We might have to cut the trip short, but we couldn't come up with an appropriate and catchy grant title. Overcoming obstacles? No. Creating opportunities? Not really. Girl power? Uh, no. We were brainstorming as the snow continued to fall and our dean was becoming more nervous but we were coming up with pretty lame titles as we looked out over this lovely vista. And then Cindy said, what about moving mountains? Nailed it. <laughs> of course she did. And yes, the grant was indeed funded. As she has advanced to new higher education administrative and executive positions in West Virginia, Tennessee, and now here, Cindy has remained true to some pretty powerful personal ideals, to stay curious, to seek growth, and to be enthusiastic. Again, that Mickey Mouse impact, but nothing Mickey Mouse about it at all. I am so proud of Cindy and all that she has accomplished and will accomplish. As wonderful as she is as a higher education professional, she's an even better person. I can't wait to see what she does here in your community. Madisonville Community College, you can expect that Cindy will be passionate about your institution, be involved in the community, be committed to high standards of excellence for faculty and staff, and be a champion of the potential in all students. But I suspect you already know that. Congratulations, Cindy.
and has more than 30 years of experience in community college leadership. Dr. Box has a history of leadership within KCTCS as well, having served as the president of Hazard Community and Technical College from 2002 to 2007, followed by being named KCTCS vice president. In 2009, he was named chancellor and served in that role until assuming the position of system president. Dr. Box serves on the National Board for Rebuilding America's Middle Class and is an ex officio board member of the Kentucky Chamber of Commerce. Additionally, Dr. Box is a member of the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation's National Advisory Group, the National Council of State Directors of Community Colleges, the Southern Regional Education Board's Commission on Career and Technical Education, and Aspen Institute's Innovation and Higher Education Work Group. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Jay Box. Join me up here at the podium. Face these wonderful people. <laughs> Dr. Cynthia Kelly, Madisonville Community College has been placed in your trust and care. The MCC Board of Directors, the KCTCS Board of Regents, and I are confident that you will fulfill these expectations. Dr. Kelly, I charge you to preside with firmness and fairness and always with humaneness over the affairs of Madisonville Community College. I charge you to use your stewardship of this institution to create a high level of excellence. I charge you to maintain and to defend at this institution a climate that encourages the search for truth and an expansion of the limits of knowledge. Do you accept this charge? Yes, sir. Say it again. Say it again. Yes, sir. Kelly, today we present to you the Medallion of Presidency. Let this serve as a symbol that we formally welcome you and support you as the President of Madisonville Community College. with all the honors and responsibilities pertaining thereto. By accepting the President's medallion, you accept the charge to serve with diligence, dedication, energy, vision, and integrity as you carry out the duties of President of Madisonville Community College. Therefore, I do hereby inaugurate you, Cynthia Kelly, as the president of Madisonville Community College, may yours be a long and productive period of service to this institution, this system, and the great Commonwealth of Kentucky. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the new president of Madisonville Community College, Dr. Cynthia Kelly.
well wow. My inner Mickey Mouse ears are, are wiggling right now. <laughs> Thank you very much. It is with great gratitude that I stand here before you today. And those of you who have been with me for the past year know I don't do well behind a podium, but I'll stay here today. I want to thank Dr. Box and I want to thank KCTCS Board of Regents for giving me the opportunity to actually be standing here today. And I want to thank Dr. Alan Thorner and our entire board of directors that I see before me in the audience. Thank you for your support and for the support of the entire board for the past year. I hope that we have many years to work together coming before us. Mr. Steve Cox who serves as the chair of the Madisonville Foundation, uh, Madisonville College Foundation, excuse me. At the first meeting I attended with the foundation board, Mr. Cox told me that the sole purpose of the people sitting around that table today, that day was to do good work for the college. I thank him for making that statement. The sincerity of Mr. Cox in your voice that day let me know that I had a network of friends here in Madisonville that I could count on. And Mayor Jackson, thank you for your support since I've been here and support that I know will continue. I know that Mayor Yance is here with us today and Mayor Phelps is here with us today. And I hope that all of us can work together to be sure that Madisonville Community College is a meaningful and viable part of all of the communities in our service region. Thank you for everything. Representative Pronti, thank you for being here today, even though you did have to sit in the parking lot in a meeting so you could be here. Thank you for being here, for asking questions about our college, for getting to know our students, and taking that time to learn about us. I hope that together we can continue to work so that we know that the folks in Frankfurt know that MCC may be small, but we are mighty and we will make a difference in this region. Thank you, Rebecca, for being here representing the governor today and the Commonwealth. I appreciate your efforts to always take our message back to Frankfurt. And Mr. Ray Hageman, I do remember, and will remember the story you told, and I will thank you for that later. But, um, but I want to thank you for taking the time to be here today. And, that I really want to thank Ray for taking the time to listen to my ideas over the past year. And he rarely has really looked at me like I was crazy. He did listen. Um, but I feel like I found a partner. I believe that the Economic Development Corporation and the college have to be close partners to do the work we need to do to grow this region. To know that people like Ray and people like Gary Jones from Muhlenberg County believe this with me and our partners here with the college is very, very important to our future growth. Sarah, Connie, Jamie, thank you for your kind words today as you represent the faculty, staff, and students here at MCC. These three groups have welcomed, welcomed me to this college with open arms and open minds. I want the faculty and the staff to know that over the past year you've been my strength. You've been willing to try new things. You've actually been willing to sit and listen to me as I ramble on. I am humbled by the work that you do every day to help our students find better lives. And the students, spending time with these students here renews me. Their energy and their honesty and the effort that they demonstrate for me helps me remember each and every day why I do what I do. Jamie, thank you so much. There's a group in the audience that I want to take just a second to recognize. The Hopkins County Business and Women's and Professional Women's Group, I believe, have some representatives here today. I think it was maybe my third day in town. I didn't have a home to live in yet. I was driving around trying to get the feel of the town and the area. And this group of ladies invited me to come have dinner. I crashed their party. They were the first group to take me in when I came to Madisonville, and I swear I can call them my cheerleaders. They've been my cheerleaders ever since. Thank you, ladies. 
And Connie D., thank you for being here with us today. You know, I have to admit I was a little concerned because Connie and I worked together for a long time, and it was my younger years. <laughs> and there are truly stories she could tell. <laughs> and you refrained, and I, I do appreciate that. <laughs> but thank you for being here. And to Barbara Rich, Connie and Bill, Lisa and Wayne, Cindy, Billy, Scott. Thank you for traveling to be here today to share this. We have some ACE fellows in the room today. They've traveled to be here, and there are no words to express my gratitude or affection I have for you and for the time we spent together many years ago. Margaret and Walt, thank you for being here. And there's another ACE fellow in the room that I have to recognize, President Emeritus Judy Rhodes. Dr. Rhodes has left a legacy of leadership at this college that is second to none. She left this college in a position that gives us all the opportunity to dream big and to move forward. Dr. Rhodes, I will be forever grateful to you for the work that you have done and for the legacy you have laid, and I will, I will work very hard to live up to your past work. Thank you, of course, to the Inauguration Committee for the work you've put into making this day success. I think these folks are listed in the program, but Jay, Ray, and Nina, I've been seeing the work you're doing. My name's Stephanie, sister-in-law Sally. Thank you for being here. As you both know, Mom and Dad worked for years and worked hard to be sure that all the children would have a better life than they. And even though they can't be here today, or the brothers, I believe they're up yonder smiling. Their light shines on me every day like the candles we have here on the stage. And of course, then there's Mr. Kelly. Been my partner, my cheerleader, my butt kicker <laughs> through this whole big journey. And I want everyone to know he's learning to be a pretty good house husband. <laughs> so thank you, sir. <clears throat> you know, there are moments in your life when something just feels right. When I came to Madisonville to interview for this position, it felt right from the moment I walked through the doors. Not once did I feel like I had to put on airs or I had to try to figure out what the agenda of this community was when they were looking for a leader. It just felt natural. I was grateful when, just about an hour into the trip back to Tennessee, Dr. Box called, and he asked me to come to Madisonville. I want to thank everybody in this community that's giving me this opportunity. Because being president isn't just about me. It's about this community, every student who walks through our doors, and the people that work here every day in these front rows to make it all happen. For 50 years, this college has served the communities in Hopkins, Webster, Muhlenberg, Caldwell, and Critton counties. I have been fortunate to be able to spend time with folks who were involved in the creation of this college, and I have learned about the passion that this community holds for our little school on the hill. With the hard work of these community leaders and under the leadership of President Massey, President Stumpf, um, and President Rhodes, we have grown into the community college that we know today. It is a college that, that offers liberal arts, transfer education, technical skills education, and workforce training across our region. Along with our sister institutions, Henderson, Moensboro, Hopkinsville, and West Kentucky Community Colleges, and fellow presidents, thank you so much for being here today. We will meet the workforce needs of our region. We also work with a great partner at Murray State University. President Davis, thank you so much for being here. We work with them to help our students transfer to four-year programs, and we are so excited because upon completion of the 
building just behind us. We hope more students would be able to stay here in Hopkins County and finish the four-year degree. And Dr. Davis is very important to that. Thank you. But all of these things have been our traditions for 50 years. So now we're preparing for the next 50 years. And I feel privileged that I am able to lead this institution into this new era. While I don't think I'll be around for the 100th anniversary, I'm going to shoot for it. I'm not sure I'll make it. I certainly hope to make the start of the second 50 years bold and exciting. I have challenged the faculty and staff here with us today to lean in to the beginning of our next half century. Rather than attending to business as usual and doing the same things, we will lean in to new things. Rather than looking at challenges and saying, we can't do that, we will lean into the challenges and turn them into opportunities. Whether, rather than view adversity as just a reason to give up, we will lean into it and we know at this college we will persevere. This fall, for the first time in four years, we have enjoyed a positive growth in enrollment in this college. This happened in, because for the past year, many of the people that are sitting right there in those first three or four rows leaned into enrollment. They leaned in, they tried different strategies, they thought in new ways, and now we're starting to see the success. We all know that in Kentucky, we are facing some challenges, especially budgetary challenges. Here at MCC, we will not ignore the fact and just hope it goes away. But we will be proactive and we will lean into those challenges. We will lean in so that we can problem solve, have a plan, and be prepared no matter what comes next. We have to be smart and bold and lean into new programs. Programs that will meet the needs of our community and of the Commonwealth. Programs that will result in jobs for our students, whether it be through skill sets, certificates, or degrees. We have to think outside the box. Actually, we have to go beyond that. This is a quiz for faculty and staff. I've been talking for a year now. Faculty, staff, we're not going to think inside the box. We're not going to think outside the box. What are we going to do? We're going to throw the box away. We're going to look at it from a new perspective. I'm really concerned that wasn't with enthusiastic. <laughs> but you did pass the quiz. So, so that's good. We are going to throw the box away. And Dr. Box, we are not referring to you. <laughs> no, please do not take offense. We are throwing other boxes away. We will keep you. <laughs> I want to make that clear. We have to lean into these new challenges, which means thinking differently, working differently, and talking and listening to our stakeholders differently. We can't lean in and shy away. Because if we lean, or I'm sorry, we can't lean back and shy away. If we lean back, we're going to fall. We're going to fall backward. And Sarah gets extra points on her PP this year because she talked about falling forward. Because when we lean in, we move forward. It is impossible to lean into something without having forward motion of your body. Leaning in makes us challenge ourselves every day. And as I tell the folks here, sometimes that can be scary. Because sometimes we will lean in and we will stumble. Things won't always go as we hope it will. But the key is we will try. We will try and we will learn. And then we will try again. We will lean in and try, and if we try and we fall, that's where the magic happens. Because even if you're leaning in, when you fall, you fall forward. You're always making forward progress. So we will be studying, we will be exploring, we will be trying new things. We will always be learning, and we will be making progress. I have asked every faculty member and staff member of this college to be a part of this forward movement. I ask every person in this college to be a leader where they are, no matter what their job title happens to be. 
I ask every person to take responsibility for every student who walks through any of our doors. I ask every person to be a conduit for the community, the business, and the industries we serve so that we will know what their needs are and be able to meet them here at MCC. So, my pledge to KCTCS, to Dr. Box, to the Madisonville Service Region, to our community members, industry and business stakeholders, public and higher education partners, faculty, staff, and most of all, our students, is that we will lean in. We will lean in to finding new and better ways to serve our students. We will lean in to being a training partner that is needed by our industry and businesses. We will lean into being a partner to bring economic growth and train workers to this region. We will lean in to work collaboratively with our sister community colleges and our partner university to have relationships that will take us all to new levels. I will continue to lean in to growing and enhancing Madisonville Community College. I must humbly, though, ask for the continued support of this community. The college cannot do it alone. We will need every person, every agency, and every partner that's represented in this room and beyond today to stand with us and to help us lean in. I ask that you be bold in your support of us so that we can be bold to help our students create better lives for a better Kentucky. So in closing, I asked the committee, even though they didn't really want my input for any of this, I asked that they share two songs with the assembled group today. And the first song is about my home in West Virginia. You know, I am a country girl whose roots will always be in those hills of West Virginia. And I thought maybe I'd never be able to find another place to call home. But I leaned in. And I came to a place called Madisonville. And I found my home. The second song, I think it's the Kentucky Anthem. I may be saying that wrong. I believe that. But I'm taking some poetic license, and I'm going to say it's going to be my new Kentucky home. So before we hear that music, I want to thank all of you in, your co in this community for your kindness to Mike and to me. As we move into the next 50 years here at MCC, I will plant my roots even deeper in this community. You have entrusted me with this great faculty, with this great staff, and this wonderful institution. And I will do my very best to build a foundation that will make the next 50 years something that is stronger and something you can be even more proud of than you are of the past 50. And as I always say to faculty and staff, as always, hashtag MCC forward. Thank you. Rainbows and 
ceremony. I would like everyone to invite everyone to celebrate with us later at a reception in the gallery immediately following the recessional. The next 50 years promises to be bright and full of opportunity and excitement for our college. Please stand for the recessional of the stage party, delegates, and our faculty and staff.